Uh, did you even have a, uh, it's, uh, Ruin, and I am here to, uh, I don't know, go on about crap and stuff, and I wish these fruit flies would leave. It's the same thing every summer. It doesn't matter what I do. I think it's because the, uh, I think it's because I'm so close to the river, but then what happens is so, um, I am kind of kicking myself right now because... I really wanted to prove a lot of people wrong about, ah, excuse me, about whether or not I'm going to make another such video, and that is overflowing. Um, I really wanted to prove a lot of people wrong about whether or not I was going to make another such video as I am right now, but, but, cat butt, um, uh, I think I have to because it's kind of been on my mind since, uh, I don't know, last night? I don't know, the, uh, the topic has kind of been on my mind since last night, and I hope that the, uh, that the exhaust end of the fan... I've got the air conditioner on on fan mode, just because it's cheaper than running it as the AC, of course, but, uh, I don't know, it can get kind of loud. Actually, you know, I will, uh, I'll finish hanging the laundry and then go on about this inside where, uh, I know <laughs> what the volume is like inside, so. Okay, so what was I saying on, uh, on the balcony while I was, uh, doing my, um, hanging my laundry on the clothesline and trying to figure out if the, um, if the fan setting on the air conditioner was being too loud, because it's hot. I'm, I'm gonna be a nudie goth. Actually, let me, um, let me not. There we go. There we go. It's the beret of truth, of course. Uh, so, now that I've got, my, got on the beret of truth, oh, uh, now what? Right. So, I'm probably going to end up grossly underestimating any kind of attention this is going to get, as I did for a previous video back around, like, what, late January, early February, when the drama all went down, but, uh, I don't know, this has been bothering me since at least last night, or at least last night is when I realized that this has been bothering me, let me put it that way, is, uh, so... Speaking of that video, um, actually, ah, uh, gosh, I, I'm really actually kind of kicking myself because I really wanted to prove a lot of people wrong who thought I was going to do another video about, uh, about this person in question, so let me give myself a, a challenge to see how long I can go in this video before it gets so awkward I have to name them, okay? Let's, let's do that. So, um... So yeah, uh, as was pointed out to me by many comments to that video that I made, I don't know, like what, was it January, uh, February, early February maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't pay attention to a lot of things. This is not something I would necessarily write down in my date book, like, you know, it's not like I come home and be like, okay, January 2011th, make bitchy video. Yeah, done. So, uh, so no, um, I don't know, somewhere in that area of time, and, uh, and a lot of people pointed out to me in the comments section of my video, I am a fat ass. I don't know whether these people thought this was being clever, or if this, or if they thought perhaps, maybe, I'd never before heard that in my life. Uh, so I have, uh, I've, I've had some weight issues since I was, since about puberty. There's a long story in there, uh, but basically I was, I was, I was actually really a very underweight child. I have very few photos, um, of my childhood at all, but yeah, I've got one that could, uh, that, that could at least, you know, stand up this theory, and, uh, and my younger sister was always overweight, and that continued until she died. Uh, but yeah, um, I was, I was a really underweight child until puberty hit, and, um, and around, um, the pubescent years, like, early pubescent years, I, 
um, I was on this medication that I ended up allergic to, and since that allergic reaction to a medication, I have, I have, uh, I've had the opposite problem that I did as a small child, which was, um, you know, so, uh, so yeah, like, I know I'm fat. I know I'm fat. I've been fat off and on my entire adult life. Let's just put it that way, okay? <laughs> uh, yeah, I've, I've been fat off and on since high school. Sometimes I've been, f sometimes I've been fatter, sometimes not so much. Uh, in fact, uh, let's see, since I moved back to the Ann Arbor Ypsilanti area, I have actually dropped about, um, 80 pounds since moving out of my friend Scott's place in Lansing, and, um, and I have dropped a good 25 pounds thereabouts since, uh, since January, though I was, though there was a, um, uh, a, a small, like, a little less weight, um, had dropped, had, you know, began to drop earlier, like, pretty much since Isaac and I broke up. I've probably lost a total of 30 pounds, but I've definitely lost the, uh, a good 25 since January 9th, I believe, was when I started making an active effort toward, um, becoming a little bit less of a fat ass. So, I am. I'm a certified fat ass. I am, a. Uh, Actually, no, I'm not gonna, uh, I don't know where it is, but I've, uh, I've got, a, a certificate from my doctor, which is, like, you know, the end of visit summary that they do at U of M at the, uh, at the very, uh, like, uh, general practitioner clinics they've got. Yeah, you get this little printout that gives you, like, your health stats and any follow-up information you might need. Uh, so, yeah, my, my stat, actually... Oh, I want to say my appointment with her in March. She um, uh, she brought me down from obesity class three to obesity class two, and so I am becoming less of a fat ass, and and that's all well and good. And I I keep referring to myself as a fat ass to make it clear that. Like, it's not a moral failing to be fat, um, in and of itself. There are a lot of, uh, societal reasons, and especially in the U.S., it's a, there's a huge class divide between, um, with regards to weight and, uh, but also, you know, again, like, people in the U.S. especially really want to, um, you know, all but explicitly state that they see poverty as a mor as evidence of moral failing. But the point is, is that it's not a moral failing to be fat. Um, I do have a gut reaction against seeing very overweight children. Um, I know there are reasons, socioeconomic reasons for, you know, the, um, a, a, a relative uh, an especially recent influx of very overweight children, but um, it still bothers me a lot because um, I two of my sisters have always struggled um, have always struggled with their weight, like even since like little tiny baby, like even since well not, maybe not babies, but even since like small children. Like I was an underweight child in spite of how much I ate. Um, I was I was one of those you know very very obnoxious people, <laughs> you know. So uh, so yeah, I, I I understand that some people are just you know always going to be thin or underweight regardless of what they eat and how much, uh, but. I do know that uh, from watching uh, from watching my sisters, you know, including the one who died of a drug overdose, because <sighs> again, drug addiction in and of itself is not a moral failing, but <sighs> Molly is a story in and of herself. I'll put it that way. Right, if you, you go. 
yeah, it, I'm going to have to go watch the video where I'm telling the story about the time she drank her own pee and again, another story for another time, but uh, but yeah, like I, I've seen my two sisters struggle with their weight since they were small children, and I know that um, when I actually put in an effort to just take a walk around the block every other day even, I can lose weight fairly easily, and I've seen a lot of studies that support that um, if you have weight problems, as in like being excessively overweight in childhood, these will continue into adulthood and make any kind of struggles you have to um, reduce even harder than they would someone a little bit more like myself, where due to some, some kind of physical illness or mental emotional illness, suddenly gained a lot of weight. Um, you know, it be, it's a little bit easier if you haven't had a literally lifelong struggle with with uh, with keeping your weight down. So, um, so I just I just know like when I see when I see children, especially very very young children. You know, it bothers me because I know their lives are going to be so much harder um, with uh, with with the weight struggle. But uh, but yeah, so it's it's not it's not a moral failing to be fat ass. But there is a point where um, where where one's weight gain just cannot be ignored because we we all see it. We all see when somebody is doing stupid shit to try and obfuscate their own weight gain, which just draws more attention to the weight gain. I'll see the people who's sucking it in, even though that maybe shaves off half an inch on some people at most. We all see the person who's like putting their hands over their enormous fucking gut. <coughs> Uh, and and this doesn't hide the weight that's been put on. It just makes people, like, depending on the apparent gender of the person who thinks they can obfuscate their enormosity with their hands, uh, it, you know, it, it just makes you ask, like, excuse me, miss, when are you due? Because that is what you look like. I mean, that is why everybody's asking you why you're pregnant is it's because you're fucking enormous and you're being an idiot in your vain attempts to hide it and I'm, I'm saying vain not so much as in like you know you're putting so much effort into your appearance which you know this this person in particular definitely does uh, excessively, but at the same time, I, I mean it like, you know, as in this was all in vain, like this was all for naught. There is, there is, why, why, just like seriously. So like when, when you become a certifiable fat ass, you have a couple options, and I'm using vaguer numbers because depending on how you look at it, it could be two options, it could be three. Arguably, I've taken the third option. So your first option, when you become a certifiable fat ass, is to rock it. Like, you know, like, like be, like, pull a John Belushi or, wait, he died. Um, actually, so did Chris Farley. Um, well, uh, you can pull a Tess Holiday or, I don't know, it's very hard to think of male examples. Oh, shit. Who was the guy who played uh, Otho in Beetlejuice? It was like one of the few characters whose names I consistently remember, and yet I can't remember the actor's name. I know he's hella gay. Uh, so yeah, like you can you can pull a Tess Munster, you can pull an Otho's. Just like rock the fact that you're a fat ass, okay? Do that, or you could do something about it that will hopefully make you less of a fat ass. And I say hopefully because there are some people who want to become more of a fat ass. And while I would prefer they didn't, again, not because of any moral failing I associate with 
excessive weight, but because um, through my two sisters who both went through gastric bypass surgery when they became in excess of 500 some odd pounds, um, in fact, I don't think Molly ever went down to what would be considered a healthy er weight for her height and frame and she was five foot ten so obviously a healthy weight for her is going to be a bit more than a healthy weight for my fat ass at four foot eleven but still I don't think she was ever uh, in what would be considered a you know a, a, a good uh, weight range for her height and um, my my older sister, who's my half sister from my dad's side, technically, um, she uh, uh, while she was relatively briefly at a healthier um, weight for her height, uh, which I believe I believe she's five eight, five nine thereabouts. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, she did put it back on after maybe a year and a half, I want to say. Um, but yeah, it, it's... Uh, I, I, and through watching them, I know that when one puts on that much weight, it's because of mental health reasons that are not being addressed properly. And yeah, there's no, there's no one-size-fits-all um, mental health solution for people, you know, so what works for you may not work for your cousin George, but th th that's that's beside the point. The, the, the fact of the matter is neither one of them address their mental health issues properly for them, and so that is, that is why they were far more of fat asses than I personally ever was. Thankfully, I have never been over... 250, I want to say, was my peak weight. Maybe 260, I don't know. But the fact is, I am... I am about... Oh god, I'm, I'm a lot less than that now. <laughs> and I'm so... I'm so glad for that. But that's... That's another thing. So, you know, you can, you can rock being a fat ass. You can do something to become less of a fat ass. Or... Um, you can do what I'm doing, which I said is like arguably a third thing where I am actively working to become less of a fat ass, so I'm definitely doing option two, but at the same time, I'm, I don't know, I'm not exactly rocking it, but I'm, I, I don't know, I just am, I just hang out, I, I live my life, I, um, I, I wear the clothes that make me feel like I look great, and, um, and to hell with what anybody thinks, you know, if that means that I'm going out to the club in just, like, um, a, a, a velvet skirt and a shawl, which I, I've been doing that a lot lately, I really like that look on me, I don't know, uh, yeah, and, I mean, granted, I, uh, I need to, uh, appellate my chest a little bit more before I go out next week. Uh, I am planning to go out next week, um, but that's another story for another time. So, uh, so, so yeah, uh, like I was saying, it's like, I don't know, like I said, I'm trying, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing what I can to, to drop the weight. I, I'm doing what I can. Uh, I have a goal of 123 in pounds. I forget how many stone that is. I don't know. Um, a little under 10, I believe. Because, yeah, 10 stone would be 140. So, 140 minus 14, that would be 126. So, um, uh, yeah, 126 minus 3. So, that would be uh, 8 stone 13. I think. I don't know. Close enough. Let's just... Oh, yeah. Well, 8 stone 13. Right? Somebody do the math for me. I don't know. I'll probably do it. Um, but, yeah, like, like I said, when, 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 you, when you reach a point where 
you, you cannot deny being a fat ass anymore because you look ridiculous. Like, putting your hands over your belly to the point where you are, you are faux whining all over the internet about how, like, I don't know why everybody's asking me if I'm pregnant. Well, yeah, it can't at all be because, you know, you're, you're holding your hands over your enormous gut like, like you want people to ask you when you're due. Because, because that is a stance that, at least with women, tends to be, like, you know, something that only pregnant women really do. Because fat women, who can accept the fact that they are fat women, tend not to do that because it looks ridiculous. And because it makes people think you're pregnant. So... <laughs> So, yeah, I don't know, like, this, this, this is just, like, some more Elder Goth words of wisdom, like, especially if you're putting, like, oh god, like, these goddamn corset-style belts that are clearly, clearly a little small on you already, but, you know, you're, you're still doing it, because... This will like, oh, hide my fat. I don't have to accept the fact that I'm fat. Like I said, I, I have long accepted the fact that I am fat. I have a, um, I became fat through a medical error. Long story short, it was an allergic reaction. I have struggled with my weight ever since, and, you know, I, I, but I know, I know when I'm fat, I know when I've gotten fat, in fact, I know when I get less fat, when I can put this pair of shorts back on, I am, I'm, I'm going to, like, I don't know, this is always going to be my pair of shorts that is my litmus test for whether or not I'm fat. <laughs> so, <laughs> or at least whether or not I'm too fat. <laughs> so it's like, this short, this pair of shorts, I've had this pair of shorts. Uh, I first, uh, I first put all the studs in here. Oh gosh. Uh, I want to say 17, 18, thereabouts, maybe 18, 19. I don't know. I've had this pair of shorts since at the very least my final year of high school. I will put it that way. Holy hell. Has it really been that long? Son of a bitch. Um, so yeah, I've had that pair of shorts since my final year, since my last year of high school. Oh god. Yeah, something like that. And, um, and then what happens is, um, is they, they've kind of become my litmus test for whether or not I'm too fat. And, uh, when, when I can no longer fit into those, and then I'm too fat, and I was, I was far too fat for quite some time, yet I hold on to those shorts because I know I'm going to be significantly less fat. <laughs> Maybe not for a while, but eventually. And behold, it happened. I can fit into those shorts again. So, um, so yeah, those are your words of wisdom, and I really hope Black Friday takes these to heart. And, uh, ah, oh, god damn it. All right. So yeah, I uh, yeah, I kind of like. Um, busted up her comments on Instagram, and I don't even know why. I was just really bored last night, and I was procrastinating, and I've I've done a lot less procrastinating today. So, uh, but yeah, I I was I was procrastinating like whoa, and I just decided, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna see what the hell, and behold, she's intentionally drama baiting. Um, again, and there, there's no way she can deny what she's doing with that, uh, that, that photo onto her Instagram with herself and Math Matthias, because, like, she's, she's just baiting for drama. She wants people to talk about this and speculate shit all up in this, and, you know, in spite of what 
she claims she really does. She she really is drama baiting at this point because uh, because th th there's no way she doesn't know what was going to happen when she did that and um, and yeah and, and and yeah it's kind of adorable like how her crazy pants mother is insisting that she has a stable home in Scotland when she said like two hours before or whatever that's probably a little hyperbolic but you know what I mean it's like she's talking about like all up in the Twitter about like oh I need a, I need a place to I, I need a place to rest my weary head on someone's couch please feel sorry for me I'm like ah oh, no no Oh, gosh. Uh, and it is just, like, absolutely hilarious to me that her mother is indeed a genuine, <laughs> certifiable Karen. Like, it's on her birth certificate and everything. Well, uh, presumably on her birth certificate. Uh, I have two aunts named Karen. That's... <laughs> oh, that's a trip and a half. It shows you how popular that name was in 1948, I believe. No. Yeah, that would have been 48, because she turned 71 this year. So, um, so, yeah, um, ugh. oh, God, it just, I, I don't even know why this necessarily bothers me, um, that she is in such deep denial about being fat to the point where she is willing to make herself look ridiculous to avoid coming to terms with the fact that she fat. Like, like, like I said, I, I myself am a certifiable class 2 obese fat ass. And, you know, and so what, I, I've got my choices when that happens. I had my choices, you know, and it's the same as when I was still class 3 obese. I, I, my choices. Rock it and flaunt it and pretend not to care or do something about it or you know I don't know like do something about it while rocking as much as possible I don't know whatever I'm doing I don't know like I said I I am making a bit of an effort to drop some weight it is not it's not something I'm giving myself too much stress over, but it is something that I am being mindful of, of course. Um, uh, and uh, so yeah, it's like I don't know. I think it's the fact that I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There's just something about it. Like I should be. I should be feeling some intense Schadenfreude that she is. So willing to look ridiculous, to live in denial of how enormous she is. It's just, just like the, the 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 first in a long time that I saw any full length photos of her were from Dark Side of the Con, I believe, earlier this year, and. The first thought that entered my head is, God damn, that, that woman got enormous fast, didn't she? She's huge. She's huge compared to what she looked like when she was allegedly, like, so depressed and hating life in Germany. It's like, no, you put on all of this weight, like, after you got back to New Zealand. So something is... You lying. She's lying. She, 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 I don't know. She's lying through her teeth about so much at this point. But it's kind of, I don't know. On one hand, it's kind of hilarious. So I am having a little bit of Sean Roy. But on the other hand, it just kind of pisses me off so much that she's in such deep denial about being as fat as she is that she's willing to look ridiculous. I don't know why it's pissing me off so much. Maybe it's the fact that, you know, there are still people, like, willing to bend over backwards and toss her salad. Uh, toss her wonderful 
brown salad. And, uh, and, and pretend that she can do no wrong in spite of the fact that it is very obvious that she's barely holding her shit together, you know? <laughs> and it becomes quite obvious when she, she is all but flaunting the fact that she's stress-eating junk food in between sucking down about, a, I don't know, like at least half a dozen energy drinks a day, and she's and she has the nerve to be in denial of the fact that she's a fat ass. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, she's enormous. She's enormous, she's fucking huge, and I, I just... I, I Thankfully, I saw some comments where people are voicing frustrations with this. It's like, oh, I love her, but this is driving me nuts. And that's like, you know, great, thank you. you. You see what I'm talking about. You see what I'm talking about. And what, quite frankly, a lot of other people have been talking about in, you know, in, in semi-privately for at least the last three years, because this is just, this, it, it, but, uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to wrap this up, and, uh, let's see, laundry is done, and at least it's as done as it's going to be, and I should, I don't know, I should probably wash out that, uh, that stock pot that I use for dyeing clothes, and it's, uh, it, it has been, um, relegated to only doing clothes, because I have a, another stock pot for this now. Uh, I have another stock pot for food now, and, um, depending on the metal, and I think this is just aluminum, but depending on the metal, um, you, when, when you do start dyeing clothes, you pretty much want a, uh, you pretty much want to use your stock pot only for dyeing clothes. Um, people who do this hardcore like I do, it's like approximately once a year, give or take. Uh, so, yeah, when, when in the course of your life you realize you're a fat ass, my, my wisdom I choose to impart upon you is either rock it or do something about it. And if you do something about it, hopefully you, just for the, just because I know what it would mean about your own mental health, hopefully you will do something to reduce the fatness of your ass. And because there is, there, there are few things in this world more frustrating to watch than a fat person in denial. And <laughs> I, I say this as a certifiable fat ass. So, uh, so, uh, as per usual, feel free to hit the like if you liked it, or hit the thumbs down if you disliked it. Subscribe if you want to. That would be that would be cool. Um, and then what happens? You can hit the bell notification. You might get notified every once in a while. Who knows? And uh, if you have more dollars and cents, I am on Patreon. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with that over there yet. Aside from um, occasionally posting. Uh, work in progress on some stories I've been kind of noodling around with, but even right now, I don't know, I've still got a couple things in draft mode that I'm, like, uh, I need to expand on this before I'm comfortable, um, hitting the, uh, post even as a, even as a work in progress. So, bats and kisses, dears, and please take care of yourselves, and goodbye.